everybody, this is Snow's Pacific Northwest Dog Training. Uh, I'm out here with Koshka. Um, this, is a, this is a video that I wanted to make just to kind of address heel and how to train heel. Um, now this, this area that we're in right now, this is an, an area that is typical for Koshka to get excited, particularly excitable. He's actually excited right now. You guys probably can't pick up on this, but he is excited right now. And the reason why that is is because those trees over there Typically, there's squirrels in those trees, and when we go on our walk in the morning, uh, he will he'll see squirrels in the trees, and then that gets him excited. So the way that we're getting him to not be excited in this area is essentially we're going to walk him around in circles at heel. Um, and I'm gonna just gonna right now what we'll do. So what I'm gonna do is to about the end of the the sidewalk crack right here, and then this sidewalk crack. That's gonna be the general area. Koshka, come here and heel. No, heel. Come on. Koshka, knock it off. No, no, he's trying to go potty. Um, but basically what you wanna do is just walk them around in circles basically at heel. Um, and then that will kind of condition the excitement out of them as you're walking them around. Um, just because they get used to walking at heel instead of being, instead of just going after stuff. And you have to teach them this because instinctually their instinct is to go after whatever the fuck they're excited about. Right, and you have to work it out of them. That's the important thing that people don't realize. There's no quick fix to dog to like your dog's behavioral issues. You have to work it out of them. Um, and the way that we're going to do that with him right now is we're going to walk him around. I'm just going to show that real quick. Koshka, heel. Now see, he's he's lunging around on the leash. Heel. Right, and every time we turn, right, we're going to go up to this sidewalk crack. Heel. Good boy, heel. Coming up on the next one, heel. Now I'm saying heel every time we're about to turn because I'm reminding him of what he's doing. Heel. And like what the game is, right? And every time he, he gives me a good turn, I, I might say good boy, I might not, but heel. Come here, heel. There's people. Doesn't matter, he's still gotta remain at heel. Right? And pretty much we just, heel. Good boy, good boy, heel. He's excited by the people. Koshka, here, heel. You're doing good, buddy. Good boy, good boy. Now he's pretty relaxed right now. So I'm gonna bring him over here because there's people. And we're just gonna have him sit. Because we don't want him interacting with the people. He's supposed to just sit there. Right? He's looking at the people. Doesn't really matter. We're just gonna let him pass. Sit. Sit. Now what I also might do is just rotate around him. And while I'm rotating around him, right, I'm I'm waiting to correct him if he pops out of the sit. Koshka, sit. No, sit. Good, sit. 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 Good, sit. You wanna teach your dog not to walk up and jump all over everybody. That's how you teach him to be a good citizen. So now we're gonna get back to what we were doing. Come here, heel kind of a small sidewalk so I don't really want you know he doesn't even need to get close to people I just basically sent the message to him Koshka heel he smells the people he's sniffing them I just sent the message to him that we don't want him to go jump all over everybody right now we're walking a little bit further heel good good boy good boy that's good right and this is basically what we'll do we'll just walk him around at heel Koshka heel Good, good boy. That's good, dude. Good job. See, he's having a good time. He's having fun doing this. This is a game for him. That's essentially what dog training is. Koshka, heel. Good boy. What we're teaching him is a game. We're teaching him the game is to stay at heel. No matter what's going on, just stay at heel. That's the game. Koshka, heel. Good boy. Good job. And this de-stresses the dog because now, you know, the dog. this is the command that we're teaching the dog on the walk that he's supposed to be doing. This is his job is to heal all the time. Heal. Good boy. Right? And since he's healing, he's not in danger of anybody. And it's, you know, it's like a calm, we're walking together. Heal. Those people are coming back. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to come over here off the sidewalk. No, heal. He's interested in the people. No, heel. Sit. Good, sit. And we just have him sit there. Wait for the people to pass. 
because we don't want him jumping all over everybody. <laughs> sit. Good, sit. Sit. Good boy, sit. Good boy, Koshka, good boy. Yeah, dude, that's good. That's good, buddy, good job. This is, the, this is how you should work your dog. This is what your dog trainer, if your dog trainer's worth, worth anything, this is what they're gonna do with your dog, right? They're gonna take your dog out and they're gonna work them around distractions and shit. And that's the thing is that, um, you know, I'm not gonna be out here for too long. I've been recording this video for about five minutes, right? And we're just working him in this area because this area is notorious. Like I'll, I'll be taking him on walks and he gets excited every time he sees the trees. The trees are his, uh, like the point where he starts making mistakes. He starts, you know, I feel the tension on the leash. He's, he wants to go lunge out and go, go fuck around with the trees and the squirrels, right? So we're manipulating his prey drive, right? We're manipulating his prey drive to basically tell him that he's going to get the reward that he would get for chasing the squirrel instinctually by staying at heel with me. By staying at heel, he gets essentially like the good chemicals released in his brain. He gets the good boy. It's the oxytocin, right? Um, and he, you know, we're, that's what we're doing is we're working the, uh, the prey drive in him and we're manipulating it to where his prey drive tells him to stay at heel. We're working his instincts. Come here, heel. We're conditioning in his instincts to tell him that he should stay at heel even if he sees a squirrel. You know, dogs operate on like cues and shit like that. So sound cues, visual cues, things like that, you know, hand signals, heel. Good boy, Koshka heel. Um, and that's normally what we work him doing is just this. Good boy, heel. And then see what this does is this creates drive in him and it, and it increases pack drive with me too because you know, he's finding out that I am a point of positivity. Whenever he stays at heel, he gets positivity from me. And whenever he goes after the squirrel, he gets negativity. And he's not thinking about it like he's getting negativity from me. He's just thinking I'm getting a negative response in general, right? And he sees me as a part of his pack, right? So I'm essentially telling him what you're doing is good. If you stay at heel, you're doing good. Koshka, heel. Another thing that you should note is that we're doing outside turns. And the reason why is because Koshka is more experienced at healing. Um, if he if he weren't experienced at healing, then I would set up, you know, targets for him to turn around and we would be doing inside turns because inside turns are easier. If it's an outside turn, there's more, you know, visual stuff outside. Heal, good boy, right? Now note that this is almost all positive. Right? It's almost all positive. It's like 99% positivity. No, heal. He was getting distracted by someone else or by something else. So I told him no when I said heal, right? It wasn't a shitload of negativity. It was just me correcting him. Koshka, heal. Good, good boy. And every time he's compliant and he heals, I build the drive in him. And I, you know, I'm building on success essentially. I'm telling him every time he heals, that's good. And then that increases the drive for the action, right? And that's how, that's dog training. It's repetitious. It takes a, it happens over a period of time. Nothing happens overnight, right? Me and Koshka have been doing this for a while. Good boy, heel. I didn't even have to tell him to do it. And that's what you want. You want him to just follow you at heel, essentially. No heel, right? Koshka, heel. Good, right? And that's the thing is essentially what we're doing is just walking around in circles. That's all we're doing. We're just walking around in circles, heel. Good boy, that's good, dude, good job. Koshka, sit. Good, sit. This is what you should be doing with your dog, is stuff like this. Just, you know, increase the drive for them to do the action, right? Now, obviously, you wanna let them get their energy out, get their, you know, especially if they're a puppy, you know, he's a young dog, he has a lot of energy, he could do retrieves all day, right? Um, and that's the thing, is walking around, that is exercising him. But depending on your dog, you may need to do more, you know? And I actually just kicked that stick accidentally and he looked at it and it was just nothing because he knows that I told him to sit and that that's what his job is right now is to sit, right? Good boy, sit. <clears throat> Koshka, heel. Sit. Note that I'm not even using the leash. The leash is loose, right? This is how you transition your dog to be off leash, right? I could drop the leash right now and technically I have no control, 
right? I'm not using the e-collar. I do have the e-collar on me right now. It's in my pocket, but I'm not using it. He does have it on, right? But I could say heel, right? And he'll come over to me. No, heel. Sit. No. Hey, sit. He was going to go scratch his butt. He can do that later. Right now we're working. Sit. When he goes and chills out, when I let him decompress, when we go home, that's when he can go and scratch his butt. Right? Right now we're working and he's in work mode. So he needs to pay attention. Right? Kloshka, heel. No, heel. Come here, heel. Knock it off. So what I might do, since now he's more stable and calm, is I have him dragging the leash. I'm not using a leash. Right? And this is how you transition to off-leash. Kloshka, heel. No, heel. I stepped on the leash because he was going to walk out in front of me. I knew he was going to do it. Right? But we're just working on him healing. He's healing. Pretty good. No. He likes to sniff a lot. Right? Kloshka, heel. Good. Note I slapped my leg, too. That's another audio cue for him to know that we're going to turn or that he needs to reaffirm the position that he's in. He's healing. Kloshka, heel. Good boy. Heel. Now, it doesn't need to be perfect, but I'd like him to stay generally in my area, right, and have his eyeballs kind of level with my knee. No, heel. He's walking out in front. Heel. Come here, heel. Good boy, dude. Good job. Right? And now this is all we're working on. Koshka, sit. No, sit. No, sit. Right? He's dragging ass at sitting, and the reason why is because he's dragging the leash. If I had the leash in my hand, then he wouldn't be able to drag ass at sitting. That's where the e-collar comes in, right? I might take the e-collar. This is at a three, right? Might take the e-collar and I'll tap the button, right? And then when he comes becomes compliant, it's it, the button is no longer being tapped, right? So I'll say, Koshka, heel. He's compliant. And then I might say, Koshka, sit while tapping, right? And that confirm, sort of confirms his sit, no sit, right? We're just using, it's just a little bit of pressure, just a tiny bit. You can't even feel it at a three, right? But he can, he can feel it at a three. And it's just a little bit of pressure, just a little bit. It's like a tap on his shoulder, like, hey buddy, sit faster. Quit dragging ass at sit, right? And you might, not, might say I'm being nitpicky, but the thing is, is if you give a dog an inch, they will take a mile, right? There's actually a dog over there. I don't know if you can see that, it's a little far away, but you know. There's dogs out here. There's dogs that are getting walked out here. And I know that he smells them, but he's still remaining compliant. You know, and that's the important thing. Right? He understands what we're doing. Right now, he's at sit. But yeah, that was generally like a session that I would have where I'm trying to increase drive at healing. Right? And that's how you can get your dog to behave on a walk is by working them like this. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say on the matter. I'm Desmond Snow Dog Training. I'm a dog trainer in the Pacific Northwest area. If you have a dog and you need it trained, I can train it. doesn't matter the size, the age, the breed. They can all be trained to do the same shit. You can teach an old dog new tricks. And um, you should teach an old dog new things. They should all they should always be learning. They should always be learning what they should be doing. They should be learning games and stuff like that. But yeah. Hope you guys have a good day. Uh, my contact information is 360-991-4392. That's my phone number. My email is desmondsnow at gmail.com. Contact me if you need your dog trained. If your dog is atrocious on walks or something like that, I can help fix that. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys have a good day. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.